It's August 18, 1960. Cassius Clay of the United States takes on Ziggy Petrikowski of Poland in the finals of the Olympic Light Heavyweight Boxing Championship in Rome. The two fighters touch gloves as the fight is ready to begin. Cassius Clay of the United States comes out in the light trunks. Pietrakowski of Poland is in dark. Cassius goes right to work on the pole. Pietrakowski's southpaw style has proven very difficult for his other opponents thus far. No one has been capable of penetrating Ziggy's defense without getting hit with hard right jabs and a stinging left cross. Clay, in white, has proven to be the class of these 1960 Rome Olympics. Cassius has coupled blinding hand speed with brilliant footwork to win clear-cut decisions in his previous bouts. Cassius like lightning in there. Clay attempting to lead with his right, a tactic usually employed by a right-hander against a southpaw, with good results. Clay has Pietrakowski missing badly, a tribute to his speed. Cassius looks very confident. He realizes that the only thing standing between him and the Olympic gold medal is Ziggy Pietrakowski, and he's going right out after him. Good punching by both fighters. Yet Krakowski is very evasive. Cassius is a brilliant counterpuncher. A lightning right hand over a left jab has stopped many of his opponents. Cassius measuring his man. Clay at six foot one inch tall has a two inch height advantage over Pietrakowski. Both fighters weighed in at 178 pounds. There's the bell, ending round one. Pietrakowski comes out for round two. He's been told by his corner that he must press the action in order to score more points. It was obvious that young Clay won the first round easily. Both fighters looking for an opening. And Pietrakowski scores first. A good left by Pietrakowski. Cassius must be careful with this KG Southpaw. Just prior to entering these Olympic Games, Cassius Clay went through his finest year as an amateur, winning the AAU light heavyweight title and Golden Gloves heavyweight crown. Just five weeks ago, Clay established himself as the premier light heavyweight in the United States by knocking out Alan Hudson in the pre-Olympic trials. Pietrakowski at 25 is giving away seven years to the younger Clay, but with over 200 amateur fights behind him, Pietrakowski has a big edge on experience. 
Just two days ago, Ziggy decision tough Guido Cerruti of Italy to qualify for the finals here today. Clay has Pietrakowski cornered and is looking for an opening. Everyone at ringside predicted a very tough fight today, and it's turning out to be just that. Clay scoring with that right-hand lead. Dash is putting on the pressure. Clay piling up the points here in round two. There's the bell, ending round two. Clay looking very fresh here at the start of the third and final round. Cash is scoring well with his lightning left jab, and every once in a while, confusing Pietrakowski with a right lead. Clay, at 18, has been boxing for six years. In over 130 amateur fights, he has lost only once. Even now, in his hometown of Louisville, Kentucky, he is a well-known celebrity. In the quarterfinals of this competition, Clay won a decision over Gennady Shatkov of the Soviet Union. In the semifinals just two days ago, Clay won a unanimous decision over rugged Tony Madigan of Australia. Clay's victory over Madigan was one he wanted very badly, for it was Tony who accounted for Clay's only loss as an amateur. Piet Krakowski comes on strong here in round three. He knows he's behind on point. Clay demonstrating those rapier-like punches. An avalanche of leather sends Piet Krakowski into the ropes. He's covering up. Clay looking for a spot to end it all. But Ziggy comes back with a good combination. The referee warns Pietrakowski for crouching. Clay is way ahead on points and he knows it. He's boxing with all the confidence in the world, realizing he is only moments away from the gold medal. And there's his famous shuffle. Play all over Pietrakowski here at the end of round three. And there's the bell ending the fight. Both fighters gave their all in a grueling three rounds of torrid fighting. Cassius Clay, a very weary fighter. In a few moments, the judges' votes will be tallied and the winner will receive amateur boxing's highest award, the Olympic gold medal. The decision goes to Cassius Clay of the United States. 
Pietrakowski graciously congratulates him. And then Ziggy's cornermen also acknowledge Clay's masterful boxing exhibition. Just moments later in the award ceremony, the fighters take their places on the victory stand. Cassius Clay has presented the coveted gold medal for his tremendous victory in the light heavyweight division of the Olympic Boxing Championships. A magnificent conclusion to the 1960 Rome Olympics. <laughs>